Hey guys, so around two weeks ago now, I went and got my septum pierced and it was kind of like a very spontaneous spur of the moment kind of decision. I like went down a rabbit hole of watching like YouTube videos of people piercing their own septum, which personally I think is crazy. Like I could never do that to myself. But um, the next day after watching all those videos, I just felt inspired and wanted a little bit of a change. So I called up and made an appointment to go get my septum pierced. And I did book it for one week later. So in between that time, I had the chance to just like do my own research on getting your septum pierced, what to expect and people's experiences. And they do say like don't watch other people's experiences because the healing process differs for everyone. But just for my own peace of mind, I do like to have an idea of all the possible outcomes of getting a piercing. So I like to know all the pros and all the cons and what could go badly, what to look out for, how to like clean and look after it properly so that the healing process goes smoothly. Also the reason I decided to get it done and like got it done so quickly is because I like that you can hide the piercing as well. So. Initially, I was not intending to tell my family um, and I was just planning to like keep it flipped up while I was in the house. But then I ended up telling my mom. She kind of freaked at first, but she ended up liking it. And then I was planning to hide it from my grandma, but she ended up walking into my room one time when it was out. And um, yeah, she's not the biggest fan, but I mean, I keep it hidden when she's around so she doesn't complain too much. Anyways, so on to my experience of getting it pierced. So before the lady pierced my nose, she asked me what kind of jewelry I want to put in afterwards. And I just asked for the smallest one possible, which is the eight millimeter diameter. I find that it just looks so much more subtle and it's really easy for me to flip it up and hide it. Like I have zero problem flipping it. And then what they do is they put a pair of clamps to hold like the inner bit of your nose and there's kind of like a sweet spot where you're meant to like pierce it. And I remember watching videos of other people getting it done and they were saying how uncomfortable it was with the clamps but personally like that bit didn't really bother me too much it just kind of felt like secure and a little bit tight. Um, the needle going through honestly it wasn't too painful it the pain lasted like a couple seconds, but the bit that hurt me more was when she put the piercing through because the piercing has a little like screw um, at the bottom where the little like ball screws into the rest of the hoop. Um, you can feel the ridges of it when it's like sliding through your nose. So that bit was a little bit uncomfortable. And also your eyes water so much. Like I was kind of already expecting this, but my eyes water a lot in general like if I'm laughing they water if I'm cold they water like I knew my eyes were gonna be gushing when I was in there and they did like the lady did tell me to just close my eyes and then when she told me to open them I was so scared to like water was literally just like running down my face like a waterfall but anyways the whole like piercing experience was honestly not that bad probably less painful than getting like this little middle one here. Um, I know other people have said that it's a lot more painful for me. Like I don't have a crazy pain tolerance, but this wasn't like too bad. It literally just lasted a couple seconds of pain and then after it was fine. So one of the things that I was a little bit worried about when getting this done was how soon I could flip it up and hide it because when I was doing some research, a lot of people were saying that you had to decide if you wanted to keep it flipped up or flipped down for the initial like three months at least. Um, a septum piercing, I believe, takes about like six to eight months to properly heal, like before you can actually change the jewelry. Um, but when I went in there, the lady, like right after she did it for me, she's like, you can flip it up and down as much as you like. So... I had zero problem with that from the beginning. There was pretty much no pain whatsoever. Um, the first day, like right after I got it pierced, I did notice that when I was walking and like doing any exercise, 
just that like subtle movement you could kind of like feel it a little bit like it was moving the piercing so you could kind of feel a little bit of like this uncomfortable feeling but other than that it wasn't too bad the second third and fourth day my nose was a tiny bit sensitive so I still had to be careful when touching my nose or rubbing it or trying to clean it like I had to be extra careful but after the fifth day, I had zero problem. Like, cleaning my nose has been super duper easy. I just used the antiseptic spray that they gave me and I spritz my nose maybe two or three times a day or like whenever I remember to. But the best clean that I get is when I'm in the shower and I'm and it just moistens everything inside your nose, which kind of sounds a little bit gross, but yeah. Um, but other than that, I've had like such a smooth healing process process. One thing you've got to be careful of is if your nose gets really dry and you try to flip the piercing or like it moves around a little bit, that's the only time that it might hurt because it is like more stiff and you can't like move it around too much. But that's just when I grab the spray, I spritz it a little bit and then it usually just moistens that area and it's like really easy to move again. The septum piercing, uh, it takes about six to eight months to properly heal and that's when you can also change your piercing out as well but I really liked just the small subtle piercing I like that I can just like flip it up and hide it whenever I need to um also for my grandma's sake because she doesn't like looking at it <laughs> pain wise it probably hurts just as much as getting like my helix done um I wouldn't say that the pain lasts very long but again Everyone has different noses, everyone goes through different experiences. I have seen so many horror stories on YouTube of people getting their septum pierced. Um, but yeah, mine's been totally, totally fine. So this is what the piercing looks like. Again, it's so subtle, like you can barely tell it's there. Um, and then to flip it, all I do is I just grab like two fingers and stick it up my nose <laughs> and that's it and like it's so easy to hide and then can't even tell it's there and then looks like I'm picking my nose but there you go so it's so easy to flip it up and down and it's been less than two weeks I do know that like a lot of people say it takes about two weeks for the initial like little pain to go away but mine literally went away in like five days so I hope you guys found this useful and I will catch you very, very soon. Bye-bye.